I tried making an alleyway from the burrow's gate over to the dog yard so they could eat the rest of the grass out there. And nobody would go through the gate except for Pito. So now I took half the burrow fence down. And most of them are still standing here like the fence is up, except Pepito. Well, you must be a little smarter than everybody else, Pepito. Come on, guys. There's no fence there. You can come out and eat some grass. Come on, Julio. You can do it. Yay, Julio! Come on, Sam. guys. Come on, Florencia. Good girl, Serena. Is that Joey? That's Joey. Good girl, Joey. There's no fence there, Nini. You can eat some grass. It's okay, Nina. Serena. I can't believe these babies are five months apart and they're almost the same size. Julio is slightly smaller than she is. Come on, Serena. Come on, Serena. There you go. Sam. Come on, Sam. I already had Pepito out in the dog yard for a few minutes this morning, so he's the only one that's gone through that gate so far. There he goes. Because the grass is always greener, right, Pepito? Well, I was only able to get four of them brave enough to go through the gate to go out to the dog yard to get the remaining grass and they're working on it. The two dark jennies and their babies didn't come out. Julio came out once because I chased them out here but then I had to chase them back in so he's afraid to come on his own. Is that good Sam? Keep eating. The dogs want their yard back. The dogs are really mad at me because they haven't been able to come out here for about a week. Hi, Nikki. Hi, Nikki. It's not lunchtime yet, buddy. It's not. It's not. When I put this north two acres together almost four years ago, um, I had to do it myself, so I only put a T post every 120 feet, and then I use these fiberglass in between, but I'm not really happy uh, with the stability of it, so I'm getting some more T posts in a few days, and I'm going to add at least one extra T post in each space between the current T posts. So I have about 
12 or so to pound in in the next week or two. And lucky, I decided I closed off the rest of the Mustangs in the south three acres this morning, so lucky could have the north two acres for the daytime, and then I'll shut the gate, I'll shut him in tonight, and let the rest of them have the whole five acres at night. Lucky had the chiropractor here a couple of days ago. His hip was out and he adjusted him and he seems to be a lot better. So I wanted to give him space to move around on his own. But he's still afraid of the other horses and I don't want them chasing him and putting his hip back out again. Okay, buddy boy. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He's a little snorty, huh? Yeah, he is. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. Go ahead and walk a little bit. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure that his hip didn't go back to me and out again. The chiropractor told me to get somebody else to walk him so I can watch from behind and see if the left hip stays lower than the right hip, which is what he was doing before. They should be even. My friend's coming out in two days, so we'll, I might have to wait for her to get a look at him. Get behind him as he walks. turning, which is not helping me see anything. Walk in a straight line, Lucky. The donkeys are having their lunch and supplements and playing musical pans. 